Hey, Tony here. So during the month of July, I thought I would take time to show you my different lenticular slip covers that I have in my collection. So this week, my slip covers will feature the lenticular slips for just the regular Blu-ray releases, and there are some 4K releases. So I will show you these in alphabetical order. Um, first up, we have 47 Ronin in 3D. Now, as you'll tell with a lot of these slip covers, um, some of them don't do very much of anything. Some of them are just lenticular, um, but I still get those. I really like the way that they look. And if you'll also notice, a lot of these are 3D releases. It seems like whenever there's a 3D release, usually they'll have a lenticular slip of those. Um, next up, we have 300 Rise of an Empire. So that has a little bit of movement. We have a Nightmare on, a Nightmare on Elm Street. And this one actually has the, um, the slashes that come and go, which is pretty nice. We have Airplane. Box Trolls. Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. There's a nice change on this one. Colossal. Now this is a really nice one because it actually does a major change. So I really like the way that they did this one. Okay, next up we have The Conjuring. So she has the match and then the clapping, which is pretty good. We have Coraline 3D. Not much of anything on this one. Cult of Chucky. This one really doesn't do anything either. We have Date Night, which is pretty good. As you can see, there um, everything looks regular there. And then after the date, as you can see, it's changed. We have Despicable Me in 3D. This has just a little bit of movement, but nothing really major. We have Insurgent. So not much movement on this one. We have the 3D version, which actually does change the characters. And we have Allegiant. Not much with this one. Okay, we have Lorax 3D. Just a little bit of movement on this one. We have um, Edge of Tomorrow in 3D. The Final Destination in 3D. I really like the way that this one looks with the broken glass coming out. I thought that was a really nice one. We have Fright Night 3D. Pretty good movie. We have Frozen Planet. So the polar bears and the whales change. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. G.I. Joe Retaliation 3D. Godzilla 3D. Gravity 3D. The Great Gatsby. Hotel Transylvania in 3D. So these actually change, which is nice. Hotel Transylvania 2 in 3D. Not much on this one, just a little bit of movement. House of Wax in 3D. iRobot 3D.
Inception. So this one does have a nice change as you tilt it back and forth. The Incredible Hulk. We have it. We have Jack the Giant Slayer in 3D. Journey to the Center of the Earth in 3D. Journey to the Mysterious Island in 3D. Jurassic World 3D. King Kong, the Ultimate Edition. Kong, Skull Island. So just a little bit of a movement on this one. Kubo and the two strings. Legends of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul 3D. So a little bit of movement on this one. The Lords of Salem. Lucy. Mad Max Fury Road 3D. The Minions. Mirror, Mirror. The Naked Gun. Now you see me too. So this one has a lot of different effects going on. Oblivion. Odd Thomas. So this one does have some changes. Pacific Rim 3D. Paddington. Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. Paranorman 3D. Pet Cemetery, The Pirates in 3D, Pixels, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Great movie. Poltergeist. Predator 3D. The Quake. Ready Player One. The 
the ring. I really like this one. It's got a nice change. San Andreas. This is another good one. You can see the rope, him climbing up and down. And then the 3D version. Nothing really much going on with this one. Scrooged. The Shallows. The Smurfs in 3D. The Smurfs 2 in 3D. Star Trek into the dark Star Trek into Darkness. Terminator. Terminator Genesis. Top Gun. The Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Underworld Awakening. The Walk. Watchmen, Director's Cut. The Wizard of Oz. Okay, some of my 4K releases and other other um, additions. We have Daughters of Darkness. Dead and Buried. E.T. The Final Countdown. House by the Cemetery. Jaws. Zombie And this one isn't in a this is a steel book with a slip But I did want to take time to show you this one um, Just because it's not too bad So those are my regular um Lenticular slipcovers. I know that there was a lot. I really like it when the images actually change and do something different um, But a lot of these are just standard images that don't really do much of anything But the lenticular on it is you know still nice to look at Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular um, slip covers, and let me know if you have any of these in your collection. Now, remember, over the next few Saturdays, I will be showing some other lenticular slip covers, including my Disney um, slips, my holiday slips, and also my TV show slips. So be looking forward to those. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.